little later than I planned on getting up, but it's now uh, 7.20, and uh, I'm going to head salmon fishing. Um, and it's my birthday. But first, I got to get some Tim Hortons. Alright, well I just picked up the boat and I got myself a coffee. It is actually pretty cold out there. Uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but just loading up the boat, man, my fingers are getting cold. But I'll try to keep them dry and uh, hopefully I stay warm. Bacon Farmer's Wrap. Look at this, our police are driving Teslas now. Holy cow. It's a bit rougher than uh, it looked from the marina. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some decent little rollers here, and my transom's pretty low in this boat, so just gotta be careful. I'll probably just start with one rod for now and see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna start the day with this blue flasher. It's got a silver panel on one side and then a glow panel on the other side. I've got this UV nail lamp. I'm just sticking it under there to get it charged up really good. And then I'm going to match it with this uh, blue and silver Gibbs Skinny G. It's got a barbless hook and probably a five foot leader on it. All right, we've got that down at 91 feet. Start there. Well, I probably should have brought my sunglasses. Uh, despite being as cold as it is, it's pretty sunny. But. I do wish these waves would cut it out. It's, uh, it's a bit too rough for me. I am not even comfortable right now launching the second downrigger. It's just being in this back corner here. It's it's just a pain and the transom's so low, get a big roller like this one coming, you know? I don't wanna be in the water. So the target species today is the Chinook salmon. Now, as of today, March 1st, they uh, switched the regulations so you can only keep a, keep a hatchery fish. Um, and it also needs to be at least 45 centimeters or a foot and a half. So, yeah. Well, I do wish it wasn't quite this rough out, but you never know, uh, the problem is you know, you can look at the wind and there's a couple webcams around, you can check the ocean, but it's really hard to tell what the swells are gonna be like. So it looks like the guys in front of me just hooked up to something, so I'm gonna follow their line and hopefully I do too. Well, I missed how big the fish was they pulled up, but I did see they were using a uh, green flasher with an orange stripe, so spying on people's gear, that's always fun. I put the line down to uh, 107 feet, so uh, changing it up a little bit. Well, I think this guy just hit. I don't know if he's still there though. Might have lost him. I was a little bit slow to pick it up. Oh, maybe a shaker. Yeah, a little shaker or something. a seat the big waves here I'm running over my downrigger cable yeah a little shaker hey it's something right sure let this guy go nicely all right buddy see you later And that little fish, 
that's a small fish but man living down at 107 feet at least it's something finally got something in the boat okay well we got something but i mean it was little um i put the rod back down to uh 107 and i'm sort of cruising in the same area so maybe we'll uh find his big brother i don't know I brought this one down to uh, 121. We're currently moving at almost exactly two knots, so that's that's usually like right around where I want to be. All right, looks like we got something on here. Yeah, it's definitely a fish on there. A little bigger than the last one, I think. At least it's fighting more. But I hit pretty much as soon as I went down to 120. I gotta get this downrigger ball up a bit though because I'm heading into shallower water. This thing's just gonna be dragging. Oh, little tiny shaker. That's a pretty big wave. Oh, Jesus. Definitely bigger than the last one, but I wouldn't call it a keeper. One, because it's a wild. Two, it's not big enough. Number two in the boat. It was definitely probably twice as big as the last one, but it still wasn't, uh, maybe, maybe it was 45 centimeters, but um, also a wild. So we're looking for a hatchery. So that means the adipose fin has to be clipped off. I just got it back down to 120 and as soon as it got down there it hit the seas are getting worse not super thrilled about it got this guy's got a little bit of tug on him i think it's probably another little one actually he's not bad let's see if i can get him in the boat here That's one way to do it. You don't have a net. And, whew, it looks like he is a, a hatchery. So, as long as that guy's 45 centimeters, he's a keeper. I think he is. Oh yeah, that's a keeper, baby. Cut his gills here. Let him sit there for a minute. So you can see his fin on the back here, the adipose fin has been clipped off. That's how you know he's a hatchery. Here we go, number three's in the boat. So probably eat him tomorrow or the next day. It's a nice fish, it's a little, it's not huge, but I mean, it's something to eat. So I'm still running that blue flasher with the uh, blue and silver skinny G on there. And I'm just gonna keep running it. It's, it's hitting shakers and this little keeper, I guess. So whatever, I gotta get this weight back up in the boat and then uh, I'll get it back down to about 120 feet. See if we can get another one. Got, I just watched a couple of other boats pick up some fish. So and it looks like they're reeling them up right from the bottom, same as me. So. Fish in the bottom and uh, looking for another keeper. You gotta record your Chinook here. You can only get 10 a year. shaker all right four fish in the boat not bad for running one rod and using the same gear the whole time 
Um, I've got it back down to about 88 feet and these waves are not getting any better. It's getting pretty uncomfortable. So I think I'm just gonna sort of troll my way in along the wall and uh, then sort of get my fish cleaned up and head home. I think I'm just gonna pull everything up and head in. It's getting a bit too much for me. Back to the marina. It's way calmer here, that's for sure. Well, that's it, I think. Um, I got the boat all packed up, I'm ready to head home. We got the one uh, salmon all filleted, and I'll probably eat that in the next couple days, so I probably won't even freeze it. Um, but not too bad for only one running one rod and fishing for about three hours. I'll take it, it's been fun.